Ja, på det här. På det här. På det här. Ja. Ja. Then you can maybe move it three feet back. And you get very flat bottom and an open lead. In our previous episode, we took our main sail for service at the sail loft Grand Sail. And there we met the sail guru, Klaas. In this extra episode, we will learn more about sails from Klaas. This is Tornado Jennakers, or they call it Spinnaker, but of course it's an asymmetric Spinnaker. And that's why we call it Jennaker. And Tornado, what type of boat is that? Tornado is a um, super fast catamaran, one design, and was the best Olympic class until 2008, when it was the last Olympic in Beijing. We are very famous because we have made this Pinnacle since 2003, and they have been winning about 13 gold world championship and 11 silver. On the tornado boats? On the tornado boats, okay. yeah. yeah. And Joran Marström was the best boat builder and he was also Swede in Vestervik. So a lot of people came from all over the world, collected their boat, took it by car or so, down passing us in Malmö, collected some spinnakers and then they took the boat on ferry if it should go or on a cargo ship if you go to Australia or <laughs> Sydney or whatever. So, uh, so this type of sail is, you could say it's your speci specialty? Yes, yeah, it has have been very specialty. Yeah. Because the, the, we have several customers that have been buying maybe eight or nine Yenakers every second year, every third year. And before the Olympics 2004, we were selling like hell to all the Olympic team. And before Olympic 2008 in, in, in China, we were also say, selling to every country. I have a question. I read somewhere that, you know, the new, or was it last year, the America's Cup boat, the yeah. catamarans. Yeah, the, the, the monohull, the new one. No, the, the uh, old ones, the, the catamarans. Yeah, yeah. That they are so efficient mm. that if you put one of those boats on the Amazon River mm. with no wind, mm. The apparent wind that the river, the speed of the river develops, yeah. Yeah, yeah. makes mm. it possible for those boats to sail um, up, mm. up river, yeah, yeah, yeah. faster yeah. than the. I, the I've current. never tested, but <laughs> that, that that sounds true. The cruising guy has big benefit is that we have been learning what the apparent angle change makes a different in shape of the sail, the draft of the sail, and everything. If we know that it's a slow boat, then, then we can have even the code zeros or a little deeper, because then for your boat, for example, you are not never going to. No. You know, maybe if you have 80 meter waves and you go down, <laughs> you, know, you go over maybe. 10 knots. <laughs> then it's more downhill skiing. Yeah, I hope I won't <laughs> encounter that 80 yeah. meter waves. So this is funny. Here we are doing eight uh, tornado yanakers, the year 2020. <laughs> And we started 2003. One of these, I don't remember which one, <laughs> is very near our 800 tonnerre yen I can made here. Oh wow, yeah. that's a lot of sales. <laughs> and I have to ask you again, you told me before that you get angry with people that are ordering a Cunningham, yeah. and then they don't they use don't it. They don't order, we put it on. <laughs> uh, and they never use it. Why should you use the Cunningham? Oh. That's a long story. <laughs> yeah. But if you have this radial sail, yeah. you, you see the panels is actually. Can you take it? The panels is actually going down to the cunning and not to the tack. Oh, you mean the forces is yeah. uh, the forces directed is, yeah. towards the cunning? Yeah. 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 In our design and in many other. And we, we have when you have a membrane, you have all the fucking thread going in the cunning. Okay. For the for the laugh. So. When you pull the Cunningham, you really drive the aft forward and you open the leech. Yeah. But if you hoist, if you hoist hard, like this, yeah. everybody's hoisting. Yeah, yeah. And if you're hoisting yeah. over the, the band, the, 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 the P measurement tape. Yeah, the maximum yeah, measurement. Maximum. Yeah. Then you start, so because the, the, the halyard block yeah. It's in little in front, so when you're going to the mark, it's okay, it's the angel, but when you're going 20 centimeters over something, 
you actually take you the every centimeter you lift, you mm. take eighty percent in the leech instead of in the lap. Yeah, because you it's going forward. Get the and you are closing the leech. So your bend the sail is getting close instead of so twisted open. Mm. So instead of pushing a twist, when you drive your cunning up, it twists and you get the draft forward. If you hoist, you get little draft forward, but a lot of draft back. And then you heal more. You heal more. Yeah. And you go slow because the rudder ha has 20 degrees angle. Yeah. <laughs> or what? So. So if you s instead take the Cunningham, you will pull the draft forward and make open the, the leech. And open the leech, make its sail flatter flat and flat and nice. And you will go faster and, and you twist. will lean less. Yeah. Yeah. So you That's get. Plus, plus, plus. Yeah. <laughs> All over. And how much do you say, I mean, in wind speed, if you're thinking of taking a reef, mm -hmm. th does it really make, because that's what I think most people are, ah, yes, mm -hmm. let's take a reef, mm -hmm. because, yeah. but how big of a difference do you think you can uh, survive with just taking a Cunningham, the, the Cunningham reef? I say uh, that if you, if you, if it like tw 20 knots, yeah about 10 meters per second, yeah. but we took knots, because the boat is going knots. A lot of people start reefing at 10 knots, and they don't pull in the out hole. They don't hoist up to the measurement tape right. and take the Cunningham. They don't bend the mast. Yeah. It's too full, it's too closed, yeah. and yeah, it, it's wrong shape. So there's a lot of things you yeah. should really do before you yeah. take the first. You start three. with the out hole. Yeah. You fix the top. You do a lot of bending in the mast with the aft stay. Depends on you have a seven eight or masthead or whatever. Yeah. You take a lot of luff cover out. You pull the coming in because when you take the luff cover up, you can get over bend. Mm. You see, when you have take more than than the designed luff, you start getting wrinkles from the clue to the mast. Yeah. And they, then you drag the Cunningham, you take that away, yeah. the wrinkles away. Yeah. Then you know that now, okay, now we have taken the design shape of the luff curve away, so yeah. we are really on zero now, more or less. Okay. Yeah. And then you can go to 30 knots okay. easily yeah. without a reef. Okay, it's that big of a difference? Yeah. Okay. Could be. Yeah. So this one is the Grand CLX and it's coming from this family, the normal seal that was made 89 to 2005 something. But we stopped buying that one 2000 when I was in Boston for one month. Is there a film on the market that has the same strength in all directions? No. It, that's impossible. No, yeah. yeah. So, so if it's you... A, maybe you, you can have that in a, in a molded... Uh, in a molded membrane, yeah. but not in, in, in woven material you buy in a roll. Yeah, because that's the problem with all woven cloths, yeah. that you will always have a, a, a bias. Bad the, bias. The 45 degree <laughs> strength yeah. will yeah. be We, we call low. it BB. Okay. Bad bias. <laughs> okay. Yeah. yeah, that's true. And even in a lot of laminates, bad bias. Okay. But not the one that you can see here. So this is the big, biggest problem with like a cruising yeah. background uh, yeah, yeah. cloth that you will have a really weak yeah. Uh, yeah. 45 degree strength on, the, on yeah. the cloth. And you can see if you go to the yeah. cross cut, you can see cross cut here. So this cross cut dacron yeah. cloth. Co cross cut dacron, pretty heavy, like nine ounce something. Yeah. And it's the normal cruising guy cloth. Yeah. And uh, that that is of course having a long life because it stretch mm. in every direction except the fill, the, 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 oh, the fill thread, yeah? mm -hmm. the short fill, but everything else is stretching and the bias is shit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. Uh, and the warp is not really good either, but yeah. better. But what, what is happening when you're sailing and when the sails is aging yeah. is that the draft is going from maybe design draft 10% to 15 yeah, yeah. in five, six years and to 20% to something in 15 years. And if, if the designer has put the draft like 
38, 40% from the front, from the laugh, mm -hmm. it goes back. So when it's 20 years old, it's 85% or yeah. something. So it's looking like this, and yeah. it, the boat is healing and going slow. Yeah. And the rudder is, the tiller is under the... Yeah. <laughs> so the big, I mean, the reality of getting a stiffer cloth is mm. that you, you lean less yeah. and you go faster. Yeah. So then you can reef later. Yeah, you can much go later. Yeah. Uh, so there you came first in the harbor. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but if you talk about uh, life yeah. of, of the cloth, mm. is there a, I mean, the cruising, we have a cruising laminate in our mm. sail, yeah. like this. Yeah. Will you get the same life? Maybe it? not liveness time, no. but you have the, the performance life is much better. Oh, so yeah. you have the, 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 the aerodynamic profile is more or less the same after five years. Yeah. Maybe distorted like, so it, if you turn around the figures, it's maybe in 10 years time, it's 80% of the original shape. Ah, oh, okay. And in 50 years, it's maybe 65, 70% of the original. Yeah. And in 16 years, maybe it's gone. Yeah, it goes, goes right quickly. off. Uh, yeah. And what's... And this one is maybe, you know, if you take that way to see the look. Yeah. The first year is 100% of the design, maybe. Yeah. The second year is 95. Oh, so it goes pretty so, fast. And then yeah. the third year is 80. Yeah, so you the lose five, the shape. The fifth fast. year is 70. Yeah. <laughs> where we had the 50 year or something. Yeah, yeah. The, um, what do I mean? The distortion or, or the original aerodynamic shape is that it gets deeper and the draft is going back. Yeah. Aft. So would you recommend if people that are coming in here and they are mm. going away to cruise with their mm. boat, not racing? No. Do you recommend Dacron or do you recommend your cruising line? I, I recommend, today I recommend a membrane. If it's membrane? Big, yeah, even oh. membranes. Okay. If it's a bigger boat. Yeah. Especially if you have a furling inside mainsail in the mast yeah. or the boom. Because the membrane has a perfect thing that you can have threads. If you have a reefing main in the mast, you reef one meter in and all the reinforcement is away in a Dacron. Mm -hmm. But in the membrane, I have 15 or 12 threads, new, new luff threads, yeah. going from the bottom to the top, inside, and that is not affecting the weight at all merely, because carbon or aramid is so yeah. light. So even if you have 15 more threads, you could go in one meter and you have a new f f luff, you understand? Yeah, yeah. And you go in two meters and you have a new luff yeah. with threads. Your this sale. this sale is 12, 12 years yeah. old. And I, I, I mean, I'm not a racer, no. but I think it has a great shape still. Yeah. So it looks great in the seams also. Yeah, for be 12 years. Um, and this one, after 12 years, is not looking good. No. I mean, it's looking nice, <laughs> but not the shape. So, will you go as far as saying that a Dacron sail is even more expensive in the long run because you need to change? You know, no, whether... no, not really. Not really. No. No, that, that would be a lie, yeah. but uh, in money. But if you go back to this thing about membrane, yeah. that is good because membrane has a lot of nice fibers, so it will be thin and it will be light, so you can roll it in easily with batters. Oh, but yeah. if you have a big, heavy deck run, yeah. the batters don't have uh, any room, so it's hard to get them in and out or whatever. Oh, so, so especially that, if you have a rolling mass. Yeah, yeah. Okay. And if you're not going to sail 20 years, so maybe you have a plan that we will go around the world for a big 60-footer, then it's much better that you have 25 kilo in the air instead of 60 kilo. Yeah. <laughs> of yeah. the moment. Yeah. <laughs> the, so the bigger the boat, it makes more sense to have a... Yeah, a real, yeah. Like a... Yeah, a membrane. Membrane yeah. sail. And in the membrane, every fucking thread is designer for that sale. It's not a standard layout. So every yeah. part, every reefing point, every tack, everything has the designed... The threads in the actual in, cloth. Yeah, or in, not the cloth, but uh, in, in, in the, the panels. Panels. Yeah, in the panels. Oh, so you uh, get a new sail when you have reef number one. And reef number two has a new sail design from oh, that point up yeah. to the top. So the actual 
spreads in the panels, you design that in the computer here yeah. at the loft. Yeah. And you send that Not away. Not me, but my no, partner. No, but your colleague. Yeah. And you send that file away to yeah. the actual uh, factory yeah. Yeah. where they produce yeah. the actual, yeah. not cloth, but the membrane. Yeah. And we may, may help them to buy the correct uh, threads. Ah, okay. Because it's a lot of different carbon. One side. Nowadays, there are a wide range of different sailcloths to choose from, and they all have their different advantages. A grey is very modern today. Mm -hmm. It's very nice, even if you're cruising, to look in a grey sail uh, for a long time. Okay. I mean, if you're trimming or if you're steering, yeah. because it's nice for the eyes uh, when okay. it's sunny. Yeah. And uh, it's also good because if you've got mildew, for cruising, I mean, if you have fall in uh, wet Genoa, yeah, yeah. the mildew, you don't see it actually. Okay. And they will always die in the sun. Can I ask you, I mean, mm -hmm. this membrane type of sail, mm -hmm. if you compare that to this uh, wo woven uh, spectra sails or Dynema yeah, yeah. type of sails, what's the benefit? I mean, I know a lot of cruisers are buying spectra or Dynema sails with wo woven cloth mm -hmm. because I guess the longevity, but also you have a pretty stiff sail that will keep its shape pretty mm -hmm. long. Mm -hmm. Is that type of sail, what's the benefit? Uh, I mean, you talked about the, mm -hmm. you have the membrane and we yeah. have the, yeah, the, where does the spectra fall in, that type of sail? If it's very big boats, like over 60 feet and over 30 ton, it's sort of good stuff for long liveness, yeah. but it's stretchy. It is. It's, it is stretchy because if you have a warp oriented dynema and you have many panels like yours, yeah. um, then it's pretty good, but it will always be very good in the zero direction, the warp. Mm -hmm. But if you are like 20 degrees off thread, yeah. it will be pretty much stretched. And if you are 45, it will be much stretched. Uh -huh. okay. And in the weft, you normally don't have dynema, you have only polyester. Okay. So it's pretty, it will, the sails will grow, the depth will not keep up like a membrane. No. But it'll, it will be good, even better than your membrane for a very heavy boat. Mm -hmm. And your laminate, sorry. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> the okay. GC legs. Yeah. That works very well up to 20 ton or something. But if you have like 60 ton boat, yeah. then you have, we are talking about like J boat or things. Yeah. Th then it really will be thick and heavy, but the, the dynema will be working good, yeah. but the sail will not easily keep the shape. You have to trim a lot, working with the Cunningham, working with Helia tension, working with outhaul to keep up with the, yeah. what you call the, yeah, the what trim. the wind is, uh, yeah, yeah. distortion, <laughs> yeah. Or, yeah, distort. So, so you could say that uh, like a Dynema or Spectra mm. sail with woven cloth, that's like a uh, expensive Dacron type of sail or? Yeah, uh, not really. It no? really it, it's much better, of course. The E-model of Dynema is yeah. perfect, like in Hailyard and things. But the thing that you weave it, you can't not have Spectra thread in all directions. Okay. So you, you have a problem that every weave has to um, one thread and that if you have a radial thread you must have the, the warp straight and the, 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 the crimp, the extra length have to go up and under the, the warp mm -hmm. will be the polyester fill, the weft in Swedish, okay. the fill and the diagonal will be pretty bad and if you have a cross cut dynema then the fill is straight and the yeah. warp is taking all the crimp up and down. So you, s you still will have the problem you have with duct yeah. that will yeah. be pretty bad in the in, diagonal. In diagonal, yeah, okay. 45 degrees. All right. Mm. But a Spectra Dynema sail is more expensive than a yeah, much sail more. like this, yeah. right? Mm. So what's the reason for buying them? Is it for the longevity, yeah, that it, for it's shape it's and stuff? That it not shape, <laughs> not shape. No, but shape. Yeah, like yeah, shape. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shape is good. Yeah. Yeah. That's true. That's okay. true. Shape is good. I think, in my view, the membrane is catching up in, in price. I mean, membrane was super expensive for twenty years ago. 
Yeah. Like we bought the first membrane in 2002, 2003, and uh, um, then it was very expensive and very exclusive and very few places yeah. in the world that could do it. But how much, I mean, if you want to have membrane cell to go mm -hmm. cruising, mm -hmm. how much more expensive will it be if you compare it to like a Dacron setup? Is it twice the amount? Yeah, twice? About, yeah. Okay, and more than twice, perhaps, if you have a, like that a pretty cheap cloth. Yeah, yeah but uh, let's say you have a premium Dacron yeah. sale yeah. and a premium. Uh, yeah, yeah, it's, it's a, twice the price. Or? Yeah, it is around that today. Yeah, if you compare in kroner now, the kroner has fallen versus the dollar and the euro. Yeah, so it's like uh, the Dacron sale is around thousand thousand kroner per square meter. Around a hundred dollars. Uh, yeah. So, yeah, and uh, the the laminate sale is maybe thirteen, fourteen hundred kroners. Yeah, kroner, okay. and the membrane, the very good membrane, is around two thousand two, two thousand five. Okay. Per, per square meter. Yeah, square meter. Okay. The the fantastic thing with the membrane is that if you have a good designer and the shape holding capacity. Even reef, even furling reef, even furling mast reef, furling Genoa, yeah. you have new threads taking up yeah. all the direction that is coming in your sails with your boat. Yeah. So even if you have a rolling Genoa, mm -hmm. when you reef it, it's like yeah. a new sail. Yeah, you have a and new sail in the sail. Yeah. So you, okay. So mm, yeah, a new luff, a, yeah. new, a new. Port so it will be port. efficient even if it's a yeah, roller, yeah. you know, okay. And then, of course, when you roll the Yenna, you cannot, you can never come around that. The no. much you roll it in, the bigger the diameter of the, yeah, the roll, of the, yeah. of the luff. Yeah. And I say, if normally it's that you go un, unclock, clockwise, what you say? Counterclock. <laughs> Counterclock, yeah. 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 So, actually, it, the port is good because then you have the sail in the lee yeah, yeah, yeah. and it's clean under the the, the, yeah. the lever side is yeah. clean but the, when you tack you have yeah. the roll in yeah, in, yeah. in lever and then you will go 10 degrees lower than you did on the port That's so starboard is yeah, yeah. very bad if you have rolled it right thanks Klaus for sharing your knowledge and we hope you who have watched have learned something new as well see you next friday 